Hello all and welcome to tonight's tour portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say a customary blessing. Blessed art thou, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Lord our God, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths <coughs> in our mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring and the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Lord, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the Torah. May the Lord bless you and keep watch over you. May the Lord make his presence to enlighten you may be kind to you. May the Lord bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Zechariah 3, 1 through 4, 7. <clears throat> then he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of Yahweh and Satan, standing at his right hand to accuse him. And Yahweh said to Satan, Yahweh rebuke you, O Satan. Yahweh, has, who has chosen, Jeru chosen Jerusalem, rebuke you. Is not this a brand plucked from the fire? Now Joshua was standing before the angel, clothed with filthy garments, and the angel said to those who were standing before him, Remove the filthy garments from him. And to him he said, Behold, I have taken your iniquity away from you, and I will also clothe you with pure garments. And I said, Let them put a clean turban on his head, so that they so they put a clean turban on his head and clothed them with garments. And the angel of Yahweh was standing by. The, and the angel of Yahweh solemnly assured Joshua, saying, Thus says Yahweh of hosts, If you will walk in my ways and keep my charge, then you shall rule my house and have charge of my courts. And I'll give you the right of access among those who are standing here. Hear now, O Joshua, the high priest, you and your friends who sit before you, for they are men who are a sign. Behold, I will bring my servant the branch. For behold, on the stone that I have set before Joshua, on a single stone with seven eyes, I will engrave its inscription, declares Yahweh of hosts, and I will remove the iniquity of this land in a single day. And that day, declares Yahweh of hosts, every one of you will invite his neighbor to come under his vine and under his fig tree. And the angel who talked with me came again and woke me, like a man who is awakened out of his sleep. And he said to me, What do you see? I said, I see. And behold, a lampstand of all gold, and with a bowl on top of it, and seven lamps on it, with seven lips on each of the lamps that are on the top of it. And there are two olive trees by it, one on the right of the bowl and the other on its left. And I said to the angel who talked with me, What are these, my lord? Then the angel who talked with me answered and said to me, Do you not know what these are? I said, No, my lord. Then he said to me, This is the word of Yahweh to <coughs> Zerubbabel. Not by might nor by power, but my, sc my spirit, says Yahweh of hosts. Who are you, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain, and he shall bring forward the top of stone amid shouts of grace, grace to it. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, O Lord, giver of the Torah. If you watch this long, I'm going to ask a series of questions. How do you think all these scriptures are related to one another. <clears throat>